Hi all, today we would be proceeding ahead with our next discussion that is how to add a user to Dynamics 365 instance and for that first of all you need to log in to your office.com account. In the office.com account based upon your roles and responsibilities or the permissions you would be able to access this admin tile. So let's click in this admin tile and it would be loading multiple other options. In this tile we have to select active users. And on the top of here, you would be able to see a button add a user and just click on this button to fill in the basic details for adding a new user. I am filling, filling in the details like manager, sales manager and manager at the rate of this manage. And I am I'm like setting up a strong password. I am disabling the require the user to log in the password on the first step, clicking on the next. Now this is one of the most important area wherein we need to select the licenses which we want to allocate to this user. Since I want this user to be able to log into my Dynamics 365 instance, so I am enabling the Threat Dynamics 365 Sales Premium License, clicking on next. Now this is one of the area which is like if you want to set up this user as an administrator to any of your applications then you need to select the appropriate uh, permissions in there but since I want to add a simple user so I am keeping it as user with no admin access and then it would be finished and finish adding the user so what we have done till now that we have created a user I located a license to it and then we have closed this screen now the next step is to go to your admin portal that is admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and checking out this user has been synced from office 365 or not so let's go for the environment and i would be checking it in my sales environment specifically so i am opening my sales environment in there now there are two ways out and i would be demonstrating both the ways so first in this screen you can see users in here simply click in all users out in here and you would be able to see the list of the users in here at times it take a takes a little while to sync the user from your office 365 account to here so let's wait for a minute now after waiting for a couple of minutes the user would be start visible in your list at times the user will not be available to you in your list and for that you need to keep on refreshing it or there is other way out that you can ask the users to log in into the application once at that also refreshes it now Either you can click in here manage users in Dynamics CRM and in there you need to select a view that the users with no assigned permissions out in there. So this is my user. I can check. I have to allocate the user a required role and permission. So I am just going to uh, allocate a role to the user in here manage user roles. And these are all the roles which are available in my application. So I am allocating in the permission of let's say system administrator and customizer for this moment of time once the roles would be assigned to the user the user would be able to log in into the application using his credentials and i would be now presenting to you how to log in into the application the user needs to log in into their office.com account using the credential which has been created with them let's say manager at the rate of summit double to double seven dot on microsoft.com post that i am pasting the url directly into the screen there are other ways so as to enable the tiles in here so that the user can see the tile can click on it and can load the application in their browser it takes for the first time since the browser generates some cache so dynamics take a little while so as to load the screen for us so let's wait for a minute and now the application is starting loading for me and now i would be able to see all the model driven apps which have been configured in my application since the user has been given the admin permissions now i am trying to load the sales of application wherein i would be able to handle all the operations related to sales like that includes creation of leads opportunities accounts contacts other stuff around and that was all about this session wherein we have covered how to add a user to Dynamics 365 application and in upcoming discussion we would be taking more interesting topics stay tuned thank you for your support